Dear Believers, If you are listening to this message, it may be because you are going through difficult times in your life right now and you are waiting for an answer from God. You may be sick, unemployed, abandoned and rejected by your loved ones, or you may have completely lost all hope in life because nothing is working for you anymore. Maybe you are having financial problems and you can no longer repay your debts or pay your bills. Or maybe you can't even take care of your family or please your children anymore. You may have been told that it is over, that you will never succeed, that it is too late, and that there is no longer any solution for your situation or your problem. Maybe you feel like you're completely useless to society and that you are not worthy to be called a child of God. But it doesn't matter what you are currently going through in your life or what people may have said about you because the devil is a liar. And today, God is telling you to keep hope and to keep believing that the best is still ahead for you. Whatever your situation, through this message of encouragement, I would like to tell you that God knows your sufferings and that he hasn't abandoned you. The Bible assures us that God's plans for us are good and he desires to prosper us in all areas of life. In Jeremiah 29, 11, we read, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This promise stands true for every believer. God's plans for our lives extend beyond our current circumstances. He sees our potential and He is working behind the scenes to prepare us for the blessings and opportunities that lie ahead. In the midst of life's challenges and uncertainties, it is essential to remember that God is our faithful guide and provider. He has a unique plan and purpose for each one of us and He desires to prepare us for the blessings that lie ahead. As we surrender ourselves to God's process of preparation, we can rest assured that He is working in our lives to shape us, refine us, and equip us for the best that is yet to come. One of the most challenging aspects of God's preparation is embracing His timing. As human beings, we often desire immediate results and instant gratification. However, God operates on a different timeline one that is perfect and designed to bring about the best outcomes for us. In Ecclesiastes 3.11, we are reminded that God makes everything beautiful in its time. Therefore, it is crucial to trust in His timing and patiently wait for His plans to unfold. God's preparation often involves the development of our character and the strengthening of our faith. It is through the challenges trials, and even the waiting periods that our faith is refined and deepened. In James 1, 2, 4, we are encouraged to consider it pure joy when we face trials because they produce endurance, maturity, and completeness in our faith. God uses these seasons of preparation to shape us into the men and women He intends us to be. In case you didn't know, it is important to understand that central to God's preparation process is our relationship with Him. As we draw near to God, seeking His presence and guidance, He will reveal His plans for our lives. In Proverbs 3, 5, 6, we are instructed to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding, but to acknowledge Him in all our ways, and He will make our paths straight. Cultivating a deep and intimate relationship with God allows us to align our desires and ambitions with His will, ensuring that we are prepared for the blessings He has in store for us. You see, during preparation, it is easy to become discouraged or distracted by the temporary setbacks and challenges we face. However, it is crucial to maintain an eternal perspective. In 2 Corinthians 4, 17, 18, we are reminded that our present troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. 
By fixing our eyes on the eternal promises of God, we can endure the preparation process with hope and anticipation knowing that the best is yet to come. Above all, God's preparation is grounded in His faithfulness. Throughout the Bible, we see countless examples of God's faithfulness to His people. He fulfilled His promises to Abraham, Moses, David, and countless others. In Hebrews 10, 23, we are encouraged to hold unswervingly to the hope we profess because He who promised is faithful. God's faithfulness extends to each one of us. He will fulfill His promises and prepare us for the blessings that He has in store. In the journey of life, there are times when we may feel stagnant, overwhelmed, or unsure about what the future holds. We question if we are on the right path or if we have missed out on something greater. During such moments, it is crucial to remember that as children of God, we are called to more. The Lord has a unique and purposeful plan for each one of us. Even during uncertainty, we can find solace in knowing that God is preparing us for something greater and the best is yet to come. To further strengthen our faith in God's preparation and the blessings that await us, let us examine five real-life examples of promises made by God to bless His children. 1. Promise of Provision In Matthew 6, 25-26, Jesus reminds us of God's faithfulness in providing for our needs. He says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? God promises to meet our needs, and as we trust in Him, He will provide in abundance. 2. Promise of Guidance Psalm 32 It assures us that God will guide us along the right path, saying, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. As we seek God's wisdom and submit our plans to Him, He will direct our steps, leading us towards His perfect will for our lives. 3. Promise of Strength and Weakness At times we may feel inadequate or weak, doubting our ability to face the challenges before us. However, God promises to be our strength in moments of weakness. In 2 Corinthians 12, 9, the Apostle Paul shares God's response to his plea for help, saying, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. We can find comfort in weakness. We can find comfort in knowing that God's power is made perfect in our weakness, and he equips us to overcome any obstacle. 4. Promise of Healing Physical, emotional, and spiritual healing are among the many blessings promised by God. In Jeremiah 30, 17, God declares, But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. God is our healer, and as we place our trust in Him, He can bring restoration and healing to every area of our lives. 5. Promise of Peace During chaos and turmoil, God offers us His peace that surpasses all understanding. Philippians 4, 7 says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When we surrender our anxieties and worries to Him, God's peace will guard our hearts, providing comfort and assurance in every circumstance. Dear sons of God, as we reflect on these promises, it becomes evident that God is faithfully preparing us for His blessings. However, it is essential to understand that preparation requires active participation on our part. Here are some practical ways we can embrace God's preparation in our lives. 1. Seek God in prayer. Dedicate time to seek God in prayer, sharing your desires, fears, and uncertainties with Him. Allow Him to speak to your heart and guide your steps. 2. Study God's Word. Dive into the scriptures to gain a deeper understanding of God's promises and His character. Meditate on His Word and let it shape your perspective and actions. 3. Trust in His timing. 
God's timing may not always align with our own, but His timing is perfect. Trust that He knows what is best for you and patiently wait for His plans to unfold. 4. Surrender Control Let go of the need to control every aspect of your life. Surrender your plans, dreams, and ambitions to God, allowing Him to guide you and open doors in His perfect timing. 5. Embrace Growth and Learning God's preparation often involves growth, stretching, and learning. Embrace opportunities for personal and spiritual development, knowing that they are stepping stones towards the blessings God has in store for you. Dear friend, as you listen to this message of encouragement, I want to remind you that you are called to more. God has unique plans and blessings prepared for you. Embrace His preparation and trust that the best is coming in your life. Remember the promises God has made to His children. He promises provision, guidance, strength and weakness, healing, and peace. These promises are not just ancient words. They are real and relevant for your life today. Embrace God's preparation by seeking Him in prayer, studying His Word, trusting in His timing, surrendering control, and embracing growth and learning. Be assured that as you walk in faith, God is faithfully preparing you for the abundant blessings that await you. So, let your heart be filled with hope and anticipation. Let your spirit be uplifted and strengthened. Trust in the Lord and His promises, for the best is truly coming in your life. Bless and be blessed. In the name of Jesus, amen.